Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 9th, 2019. So everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. You're ready for another week of wild price action because I think that's what we're going to get. And let's take a look at what the market is showing us this morning. First off, <clears throat> In the last four days of trading, we have rallied more than 850 points. That may be putting us at a situation of a short-term overbought situation. But we have those bulls really relentlessly pushing. They just want to seek out, for some reason, I don't, I don't quite understand it, but they want to seek out these new highs or uh, maybe even pushing for all-time highs in the market. So we have some resistance level that we, levels that we have to consider. But right now, Dow futures are showing a gap up open this morning, although it's been slipping just a little bit this morning. We are pushing for a gap up open. We'll want to watch that pretty darn closely. Now, indications are that we are, like I say, short term overbought and I question the rationality of continuing to rally with the things going on in the world. Um, just really quickly, um, um, Hong Kong uh, protests erupted again last night in some violence. They, they're they asking for the U.S. to help, to step in, to help them gain uh, their freedom. Obviously, that is going to put us in direct conflict with China that we're trying to negotiate trade negotiations with. I got to imagine that's creating some very tense situations um, as we try to navigate these waters pretty um, pretty carefully. Also, the president pulled out of, of negotiations with the Taliban um, and the, kind of abruptly this weekend, Taliban has promised U.S. citizens will suffer as a result of that, and Afghanistan is bracing for new violence over there as a result. Um, who knows uh, what comes from that um that's that's all going on and then last but not least as we have um over in the uk just kind of a mess brewing over there where the prime minister is actually trying to force a vote on brexit today trying to force a, a vote on brexit while at the same time a parliamentary bill is supposed to go into effect sometime today to prevent him or block uh, the prime minister from doing what he's attempting to do. Um, who knows <laughs> what could happen over there? Also, the ECB, um, um, there is some hope that the ECB is going to be providing some stimulus here soon. So obviously the markets love free money. So you, you provide some stimulus and we could see the markets rally. So we've got all of that going on and I'm not really sure how all of this warrants us to be super, super bullish in the market, but that's what we are. We're bullish in the market. Now, if we happen to get any kind of a rest or pullback, let's watch this 50 day moving average in here. It would be pretty common after a breakthrough of the 50 day moving average to have some kind of a rest, consolidation or pullback. It doesn't have to be a pullback. It can just kind of do be a, a a light consolidation back to fill um, fill that area and maybe um, hold on to that 50-day moving average. One thing that bothers me is this huge open gap here behind um, and the fact that if we do start to roll over, we'll want to watch the possibility of that gap getting filled. Remember, we have price resistance highs above. I'm not really sure. I, I honestly can't quantify in my head um, how a discussion next month, possible discussion next month on U.S.-China trade has warranted this kind of a move. But here we are, and let's deal with what the, the, the chart has to say. So watch for that upside resistance to be um, right maybe through here in the Dow. If we do happen to get a pullback, let's keep an eye on that 50-day moving average. Hopefully it can hold 
some support in that area. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much similar uh, situation, and we're pushing these resistance levels in the chart. We'll have to watch those pretty closely. This has a closer proximity of, of um, attacking those all-time new highs um, in the SPY. We'll have to watch this one pretty closely. We may still get that relentless push by the bulls to try and attack those new highs. Let's watch that carefully. What happens after that, I couldn't tell you, but um, we'll want to watch for that. And if we get uh, bears coming in, watch again for that pullback back down here to test that 50-day moving average, which is pretty common. Um, uh, you know, in a market, we we push up and we pull back to test support. So that both of those um, situations definitely could exist today, and we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. The Qs Qs also have a similar situation. They're not looking quite as strong here this morning. Actually, the Qs are just barely positive this morning in the futures, and if uh, those were to uh, begin to slip, well, then watch this 50-day moving average for support. If they happen to find that inspiration from the bulls, then watch these resistance levels up here as we try to push on higher. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is just in no way, shape, or form a bullish chart, in my opinion. Our biggest index out there. And uh, it is sick, 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 sick in this longer term downtrend overall. Um, it did break this little downtrend right in here. Let me zoom up to that. Did break that little downtrend right in here, which is bullish. And we did make an attempt at the 50-day moving average. This morning, you can see we're trying to get a little bit bullish here this morning, still underneath that 200-day moving average. Um, this has got so much work before this comes back around to be bullish. Um, uh, it's a pretty ugly chart, uh, in my opinion, and, and nothing to... Um, it would take nothing for this to sink quite a bit further. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, I'm going to go to this chart. The VIX um, made that break um, on Friday, break below this key level of support. So uh, fear dropping out of the market substantially. Um, in, in the market breaking that down so now our next level of support in here is probably going to be down in this area and if we get this gap up this morning we could see that today um, that is that fear drops out we'll want to watch that down in here it seems um, interesting to me that we're dropping back below a 15 handle on the VIX considering we still don't have a trade deal and we've got more tariffs on the way so uh, but, you know, non nonetheless, that's what's happening here. We can remain irrational a lot longer than I can remain liquid trying to fight it. So I'm not going to fight it um, as the market wants to. If the market wants to go up, I'm going to be looking to uh, trade those upside moves and watching carefully if the price action suddenly shifts the other direction. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T21 22 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see this is actually one of the most reliable indicators out there in telling us when we're overbought or oversold. It doesn't necessarily give us the indication of now's the time to go short, now's the time to go long. That's price action. But T2122 tells us when we've stretched things just a little bit too far. And as you can see, we are stretched up here toward this bearish reversal zone here in the market doesn't necessarily mean that we have to immediately collapse all the way back down. Um, although that's what this market has done here recently. Either we're all bullish or we're all bearish. It's There's there's no in-between. We can't get any continuity to the price action. We either gap up or gap down and very little continuity here in the price action that allows retail traders to participate much unless you are a very quick day trader. But other than that, that, we've just been whipping back and forth in um, overnight gaps that make it very, very difficult. So 
as you can see, this this indicator does, once we reach up into this area, we do show that, that possibility of failure. But we can also show you that we sometimes can stick around up here for a while. So kind of keep that in mind. It doesn't necessarily mean an imminent collapse is ready to to happen but that we are uh, kind of stretched out at least in the very short term um, on this chart now let's consider uh, we still do have room yet to the upside so if the bulls get put you know get inspired in some way we still have that upside potential we can push right up here right up here toward that 100 level pretty easily and we've done that before in the past if those bears get inspired however we do have a big deep open hole where they could fall into that or push the market down into that area let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar doesn't really have much to say today about the overall market um, we got some bond auctions we got the TD Ameritrade um, IMX number and consumer credit coming out I wouldn't expect these to move the market around at all today so market will be kind of left to its own devices, which means very sensitive to news um, and news spin. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Also on the earnings calendar, we have about 25 companies reporting earnings today, but really nothing um, of major note. Um, today um, on that earnings calendar, except for one company, possibly uh, CTRP. But I, I really am not finding anything that would be that that kind of earnings report that really inspires the bulls or bears. So not a whole lot going on on that earnings calendar today, even though there are 25 companies reporting. Most of those are very, very small cap companies. And we've looked at that index. So with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and i want to wish you great profits in your trading and if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube the follow me button on facebook if you happen to be watching it there on facebook make sure you click that bell icon on youtube when it when that pop-up comes up so you can be notified every time one of these videos are are posted and also Please, if you feel this video is worthy, um, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, you don't have to leave any long comments. You don't have to leave anything fancy. But if you have something to share with a group, I truly, truly appreciate um, uh, folks sharing information um, with uh, the subscribers. So please feel free to share that. Maybe you think I'm just absolutely um, out of my mind here uh, and, and that's okay to share that as well um, but if you uh, find these helpful please do me a favor and um, and share this video with other friends and family helps the um, helps us sh uh, grow this channel you guys are awesome and I truly truly appreciate that for everything that you do and leaving those comments and, and sharing you guys are awesome thank you very very much so with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up for a possible trades. Now, um, I, I'm saying this in, in, in a way to, to remind everyone that even though I bring up charts for potential trades, I want you to understand they require your evaluation, that I'm not in any way, shape, or form um, recommending the buy or sell of any security in here i'm just pointing out th what i see in the charts and how you might want to look at these for a uh, possible watch list candidate possible um possible future trade but that's on your evaluation so ttwo i've mentioned this several times and now we've had two um ugly days here of pulling back but we're still holding on to support we need to see those buyers step in but i gotta think that ttwo is going to get more of a uh, pullback here so let's keep an eye on this even though i've been kind of talking about this beautiful trend and watching it we're starting to falter here on some of these stocks so we'll watch that pretty closely ttwo still on my list i'm not going to kick it off just yet but i'm starting to get just a little bit concerned about that chart 
take a look at Shopify. Shopify had an ugly pullback here on Friday, but Shopify still has this really nice pattern and can still recover. And as you can see this morning, maybe trying to move up just slightly here this morning. My price alert on this chart is here. At this point, I need to see that stock holding on this trend and breaking through that level right there. If that occurs, this looks like a long trade to me. If we cannot make it through there, then don't chase it short. Wait for that failure to occur. We would wait for that failure to occur, rally back, showing us that um, resistance level, that lower high and that trend and then we could look at that for a short trade. So watch that pretty closely after that failure of a trend if that is what occurs here. Um, be really careful on these, uh, on these trades. There's so many things happening right now, it's really hard to know um, what is the best um, method of moving forward on a lot of these trends. Take a look at Texas Instruments, or uh, excuse me, not Texas Instruments, AMGN. Um, AMGN um, really pushing up here toward this resistance high. Watch that. Now, if uh, Amgen can push on through there, we have big upside potential here. Uh, blue sky above in that chart. Let's go to a weekly. You can see there would just be a huge upside potential if we can actually push through that resistance if it cannot do that then watch this uh, uh, for that potential breakdown here in the chart um, interesting price pattern setting up here on Amgen take a look at our um, uh, aerospace defense uh, stocks. We have um, NOC looking very strong here in a trend. Broke this little downtrend here, now pulling back to test it for support. And with the tensions maybe starting to increase on this thing with the Taliban, we might see these defense uh, sector stocks maybe kicking up here a little bit. I wouldn't be at all surprised if this continues to move out here toward this trend before it goes but watch it closely with the news uh, circulating around right now on the, um, on the, with the Taliban. Um, we could see a little bit of push in that today. Um, LMT might be another place to look. LMT has been trending very, very good holding up well and now with the the possible growing tensions with the Taliban, possibly uh, that could move um, on up. Take a look at a chart like WW. Now, WW was actually brought up by one of the members in the room, and um, this chart pushing some resistance levels here. Now, we've had an overall uptrend going on in this chart. Uh, Weight Watchers trying to come back. I kind of expect with this, with this what we call a J-hook pattern, I kind of expect a, a little bit of rest or pullback to occur in here, maybe picking up this trend before it moves higher. But we certainly want to keep an eye on it if it happens to break through that resistance and really start pushing up. Uh, WW may have some opportunity. Take a look at some of the pay systems. Pay systems like Visa, MasterCard, they are looking good here, holding these trends, breaking higher, breaking out of all time highs here in these charts and showing strength. Pay systems looking pretty good. Any kind of rest, consolidation, or pullback could certainly set up an opportunity here for a trade. Keep an eye on um, stocks. Uh, um, the, kind of the old standard stocks um, like um, Tyson. Tyson had a major pullback here. And that we've been trending, trending, trending in this chart. This has the possibility of setting up both a long or a short. If we rally back up here and fail at a resistance, there could be there our lower high and even that possibility of that head and shoulders type pattern to set up here on Tyson. However, if it can break back above and hold it as support, break back above that resistance, hold it as support, Tyson could resume its trend. So Tyson, a little bit of question in here. Here, something you want to watch pretty closely but um, overall um, uh, that sell-off very concerning here uh, just recently on Tyson how about Procter & Gamble Procter staying very very strong after two strong days up just a little teeny tiny rest in here watch for this to maybe consolidate over 
you guys know there's a pattern, a, a chart pattern out there called the mat hold pattern, and that would, would require maybe another very resting day in here, another little doji candle, and a mat hold move up, light little consolidation, and then that pop. Watch that there. Now, I have a pattern that um, I teach. It's called the pop out of the box pattern, and that requires a minimum of four days in consolidation. So I would place an alert right up in here. If that moves sideways in here, we'd watch for that next potential move out here on Proctor. Proctor holding up really, really well considering uh, this market. So keep a close eye on it, um, looking pretty good overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, just make sure and click that subscribe button and that bell icon. And I want to encourage everyone, if this is a very, very, this has been a very, very challenging market. If you're struggling, please don't give up. Continue to work uh, for that goal. Practice, practice, practice. Get in there do some practice trading in your paper trade um, learn the patterns that are the most effective don't give up on yourself because believe me it's worth the effort everyone take care have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early tuesday morning have a good one